Quick question, what is the biggest Oakley regret that you have if you're a collector? I can tell you mine, and you know what? I'll probably get quite a bit of flack for it, deservedly so. My biggest Oakley regret is I never bought a pair of X-Metal Mars. That's right, until now. Welcome back to Rare Oakleys. As you can see from the title below, we are gonna be unboxing one of the most anticipated pieces of the year, if not over the past several years, none other than the X-Metal Museum Mars. But before we do that, make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. Now would be a great time to subscribe. Hit that like button, give us a thumbs up, and do not forget to hit the bell icon. I can't stress that enough. So of course, you'll never miss a future episode of Rare Oakley. Speaking of episodes, be sure to check out our other videos because we have a ton of fantastic content, most of which is gonna be Oakley related. Sometimes we'll throw something different in there to keep things fresh. And also, be sure to check this out. This is my awesome book. Not only is it packed with tips and tricks on how to save money and get free stuff, if you like free stuff, this book is for you, but even if you don't like free stuff, guess what? It is a fantastic and enjoyable and entertaining read. Links are below in the description so you can secure your copy. But the X-Metals, X-Metal Mars, X-Metals were released right around 1999. Now I'm gonna have to disagree a little bit because I've heard that uh, they said that the Mars were released in 1999. Well, I don't think that's entirely true because as most of you probably remember, the first X-Metals that were released were the Romeos. And those were released in 1999, as far as I remember. And then the Juliets came after that. I don't know if it was six months or a year after that, but then the Mars came out after that. So I'm thinking it's probably closer to 2000, 2001 that the Mars were released. Nonetheless, they were really popular when I tried them on at the time. This is crazy. I'm going to share this story with you guys real quick. I was at a kiosk. I had an Oakley hookup. I remember this like it only happened a few months ago. He had the Ruby Mars brand new in the box. He asked if I wanted them, 150 bucks. I turned them down. I tried them on and I said, you know what? I look like C-3PO, I can't do it, hard pass. Just a huge mistake. Well, at least we're able to redeem ourselves a little bit now. So, in the box here, we've got the official unboxing we're gonna do. By the way, this is the first unboxing on YouTube for the Oakley X-Metal Museum Mars. So we're gonna unbox these right now. They're still sealed. Just came in today. Come on in, camera lady. Let's see what we have. So we've got a box in a box, which is good. I ordered these online. I did not order these on oakley.com because I heard that they were releasing them earlier on other websites, so I did go somewhere else, but thankfully we got our pair here. We'll just uh, get rid of that for now. So we got another box, so this is good. They boxed it well. I can say that for them. And <clears throat> okay, you know I should always cut away from myself, not towards myself. So. Stubborn doesn't want to doesn't want to open. All right, do we have a good look at this? Do we have a do we have everything here? Okay, looks like a packing slip. Okay, it's fine. We can deal with that later. And here it is. We got everything in focus so we can see exactly what we have here. Wow, $2,300. Oh, well, you can see where I got them, I guess, for those of you who are familiar with that. They charge shipping. Unbelievable. So you buy a pair of $2,300 glasses and they're going to charge you shipping. Unreal. Um, anyway... Here we've got probably the SKU. Some of this stuff I can't even read. It's really small. But you got obviously Prism 24K, the barcode, and Oakley's seal here, which 
looks like it's been opened. Obviously, I didn't open this. So they've already been opened somehow. Hopefully, they didn't, uh, they didn't mess them up or do anything nefarious here. Okay, here we go. So most of you have already seen these boxes, probably pictures online, but this is nice. They have the original box here. So Mars, okay. We'll get the, get the box out of the box here. <clears throat> Thanks. Let's see what we got here. Let's set this aside. All right, so they got the, the nice perforated cover, kind of reminiscent of some of the X-Metals. You got the Mars logo and gold foil. That's nice. What about the sides here? Oakley Museum, gold logo, which is nice. And I can tell you too, by handling this, the top part, it's the perforated part here, the sleeve is has a nice thick paper stock to it, but the side almost has a rubbery feel, or it feels different here on the side than it does on the top or the other sides here. But uh, let's see what we got on the on the bottom. What we have on the bottom? We've got the tag with the official SKU here. And can we zoom in on that so we can get a good look? Because I believe it says, yeah, made in Italy. Look at that. Can we zoom in on that so we can get a good made in Italy? And then, of course, you got the Oakley logo and some copyright, or not copyright, but patent, trademark, whatever. And whatever is here, I don't know what this is. Recycling. Oh, they don't want you to throw the box away. <laughs> like we're going to do that. $2,300 pair of glasses. Okay, so let's unbox these. And I think the easiest way may be just to lay it on the side and lift off the sleeve here. And look at that. We got the nice Oakley logo, the ellipse, also in gold foil. And check this out. Magnetically sealed. You can hear it when it snaps shut. And they got the Oakley One Icon Foothill Ranch, California. So this is nice. This is a nice presentation they have here. Let's open these up. And here we go. So these are the 24K Museum Mars. And you know, typically I'll grab Oakley's by their nose bridge, but I, I don't even want to touch the leather here because obviously it can cause issues. And yes, I did wash my hands just prior to shooting this video. So there we have the lenses, 24K, prism 24K, sorry. The round orbitals, the leather wrap. Let's get a good look at these so we can, there we go. Look at them from all angles. And these do have a significant weight to them, just like the original X metals, I think. Although I don't have any other Mars to compare them with directly, but other X metals like Juliet's. Now I'm going to grab these by the orbitals rather than the nose bridge because I don't want to touch that leather. You've got your temple shocks in there, and of course the nose bombs, which is the actual correct technical term. So I guess these look nice. And uh, wow, I almost grabbed the nose bridge again. Let's see what else we have in here. I actually brought an extra microfiber bag to lay these on. So we'll set those there for now. Let's check out this coin, huh? So the coin is kind of nice. They have a little indentation here so you can pull it out easy without destroying the foam. And the foam is actually more of a reinforced foam. I can tell you that compared to the old X-Metal releases, this is, it's, it's more solid, which is nice. Solid cutout foam. But here's your X-Metal coin. It's got uh, X-Metal logo on the one side. And you can read, read the perimeter of the coin, right? And it has the little ridges on the edges, which is kind of nice, a nice touch. And of course, it's got the Mars with the Blood Skull, one of Oakley's icons on there. Oakley Museum, 2023. So that's nice. I like I like the nice touch of the coin. Put that back. And you got the microfiber bag here. And what's this? We have... I almost don't want to open this up because I don't want to... I don't want to ruin it. 
I think that's all that's in there, yeah. So let's see what this is. I don't know. I'm a little hesitant to open this, but let's do it anyway. Ah, warranty information, right? Oh, wow. You know what? It's more than warranty information. Look at this. It appears that we do have some warranty information. Or there's a warranty card here in a number of languages, but we also have some kind of a Mars placard. And does this open up? Oh, it does open up. Let's see what's in here. That's kind of a kind of a nice touch, right? They've got some drawings, some renderings. It's kind of neat. And then this is more of the warranty stuff, I guess. So that's that's kind of a nice touch. I think they did pretty well there. We'll put that away later on. But these are the Mars. Now, we do have a bonus with this particular pair. Uh, before we go into the bonus, I want to say uh, they look great. I think pretty pretty heavy on the price point. My biggest complaint from seeing these in person is going to be, not that I have a lot of them, but no serial number. And I've heard that a lot from a lot of collectors, a lot of fans, a lot of Oakley fans. For that price point, yeah, they should have been serial numbered. Now, initially, I thought they were going to make only 23 pairs of these, obviously after Michael Jordan's number. I thought they were going to be serial serialized of 23 pairs and almost impossible to get a hold of. So I panicked. I hit the panic button, which in this case was probably not a good idea. And what happened was, if you look over here, we ended up getting a second pair. So unfortunately, or fortunately as the case may be, we, uh, we got two pairs of Museum Mars here. Twins, I guess, identical, yeah. Um, because I was afraid we weren't gonna be able to get a pair, so I had a friend who lived near one of the Oakley stores that was actually gonna have a couple pairs of the Mars. I sent him the money in hopes that he would be able to get it. He had to stand in line and do, go through all this stuff, and I thought, what if he doesn't get them? So then I ordered the other pair online and ended up getting them, and we ended up with two pairs. But you know, at least we got them. That's the good news. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. Don't forget to hit that bell icon, and we will see you next time on Rare Oakley's.